Welcome to your favourite day of the week everyone where it's day 9 of our advent calendar where every day up until Christmas and Christmas itself we're going for a funny and strange story that has happened in history so make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any of them it would be much appreciated Yesterday we went through the dancing plague of Strasbourg and how people dance themselves to death for some unknown reason Today we have a snake problem but no it's not in my pants so let's see what magic lies behind door number 9 of our advent calendar. The British India Cobra Problem During the British rule of India, there comes an anecdote of how they are having a problem with cobras. The British government was concerned about a number of venomous cobras in Delhi. So they came up with a plan that every dead cobra that was brought to them, they would give someone a reward. Initially, the strategy was a great success for the government as large number of snakes were being killed and brought to them. However, most innovative people came up with a way to cheat the system. I'll pause here briefly to see if you can guess what their plan was. If you said they started breeding cobras, gold star to you. That's exactly what they did. People started breeding cobras, so they had more and more of them to bring to the government as a reward. The government soon became aware of what was happening and scrapped the scheme entirely. People now had a bunch of entirely worthless snakes, so they released them all back into the wild, and the cobra problem became much worse than it was when the government initially set up their scheme. The story, however, is possibly not the most historically accurate. Nonetheless, the term cobra effect was coined by economists horse Siebert based off this anecdote. The phenomenon would later be known as perverse incentive, where an incentive has an unintended and undesirable result that is contrary to the intentions of the designer. So in the end, the British government wanted to get rid of all the snakes off the streets. However, their plan made it so more snakes appeared on the street in the end. Another example of this is in 1902 Hanoi, Vietnam, under French colonial rule, they offered a reward for every dead rat. They asked people to provide the severed tail of a rat as proof for their award. However, they soon started noticing a lot of rats running around without any tails. So what people had done is they cut off the rat tails and released them back into the wild so the rats could start breeding again. So that then, then there would be more rat tails to pick, take to the government for a reward. People are smart. I can't speak. And one more story before we end is the first transcontinental railroad built in 1860 where the builders were paid per mile of track they laid. I think you can see where this is going. At one section of the track, instead of building the quickest way through to the destination, the builders added a bow shape to it, adding unnecessary miles to the track and getting paid a hell of a lot more. So I hope you all enjoyed day nine of our advent calendar where we looked at the heights of human innovation. Thank you all for watching everyone and join us tomorrow where we find out about how a man having a dumb sunk a submarine. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that and I'll see you all then, peace.